This morning I'm going to be a junk collector. All right. Now I want everyone to imagine their rooms. Uh, maybe your secret drawer you have. Maybe your desk at school. Maybe a closet. Some of us it might be the whole house. You know, I don't know. So what do you think you might clean up? What would be the first thing you do? You, you know in your head you have a lot of something that you might have to clean up. What do you think? Yeah, like what items do you think? Can you think of something? Do you have a lot of books? I know Camille has lots and lots of books. He might have some books that he needs to get rid of. What else? What? Socks. A lot of socks. Riley has a huge sock drawer that could use some cleaning up. So some clothing. All right. So we can get rid of some clothing. You can get rid of some clothing. All right. Maybe some old toys that you don't play with anymore. We can get rid of that. If you're an adult, it might be. I know Joan. Would you tell me? I'm gonna tell a little secret. June has lots of yarn. Lots and lots of yarn. So there may be a little cleaning out of the yarn. Well, our scripture today talks about what we do on the outside and what we're like on the inside. When I was a kid, there was a TV show I used to watch called Leave It to Beaver. And on there was this, do you watch the friends of Leave It to Beaver? All right, kind of good, but who's the, who's the friend of theirs who says one thing to Mrs. Cleaver, but really doesn't act like that? What's his name? Walter Frank. Eddie Haskell. Eddie Haskell. When I was growing up, we would say, oh, that kid's an Eddie Haskell. Because he would say, hello, Mrs. Cleaver. How are you? You look lovely today, Mrs. Cleaver. And then he would go and he'd be a little mischievous. Well, that's what our scripture is about. Jesus says today, people, what you speak on your lips is not what's in your heart. So if I tell you to clean up your room and get rid of all your junk, but you really shove it all in the closet and close the door, that's not really changing things, is it? So I want you to think about cleaning out the inside of yourself today, okay? So what kind of things would we get rid of that are holding us back? If we were all junk collectors getting rid of things inside, the first thing I might get rid of is bad words. That might be the first thing I clear out of my heart and my mind. Well, not just swear words, because I should say, well, Mom, you have both, because I'm not a big swearer. But a bad right word might be, you're ugly, you're stupid. Yeah, pretty shocking, huh? I'm smarter than you are. Those are all bad words. Now this is a hard one. Fear. Fear is a thing that takes over and lets our heart not do what God wants us to do. Because we're a little afraid to reach out to somebody and say, you need a friend. Because that's a little scary and they might think we're crazy. Fear holds us back from a lot of things. God says, clean that out of your heart. Put that in your junk collecting pile. <clears throat> oh, here's another hard one. Grudges. Now those weight us down the most. A friend does something against us, we carry that around and we are mad in our heart. Usually the friend goes on with their life. But you are carrying that burden. God is putting it out of your heart. Because if you're saying I forgive you on the outside, but on the inside it's still in there, your lips are saying one thing, you're ready to ask me. Doesn't work. Hatred. Oh, another hard one. It's hard not to hate. And God recognizes that we are only human. So we are going to have moments of hate. But maybe each day, doubt. Each day we need to do a little junk collecting each night as we go to bed. And we pray to God and we say, help me to clean out some junk that I brought in today. Do you think you can each do that? Just one piece of junk throw out each day. And our hearts will reflect the same as ours. Let's pray. Dear God, we'll work on it. We'll be a work in progress.
progress. Each day we'll try out to clear out a little junk that is holding us back within our hearts so that the words that we speak from our lips match what is in our heart. Amen.